Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to make this stool for Caddy Noir. Um, it's quite easy to make and um, all you'll need is some wire, cardboard, um, a bit of um, stuffing for the actual seat um, and some material. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is find something round to wrap the wire around um, to make the base of the stool. Um, in this case I'm using um, just a candle. Um, so I just found it the perfect, perfect size for a seat and then you're going to get your wire um, this wire here I just picked up at a department store but you can pick them up here pretty much anywhere from you know, hardware stores, places like that um, it's one millimeter in thickness and it's really pliable um, and you can actually cut it with scissors so you don't need pliers and I've also got this, this thinner wire as well and this is um, 0.45 millimeters in thickness and what I'm going to do is later on is I'm just going to wrap it around the base just to tidy it up and make it look a little bit better. Before we start we need to know the circumference of the area we're working with. Um, so with a tape measure I've just um, going to measure around. So it is um, around 160. Um, so we need to work out basically where to put the legs. So um, if you divide that by four that's around 40, 40 millimeters for each leg so with your wire just wrap it around just leave a little bit at the end there so you can tie it and from there just measure 40 and another 40 and just do that four times around and that'll give you um, the perfect position for each leg. Once you've done that you can just wrap it around the candle and you can start making the, the leg. So for the first point um, I, you just bend it there and I'm making the um, the actual legs a hundred and 20, yeah, around 120 millimeters in length and that's just enough to bend for the foot as well so I'll just measure those I'll bend it there Okay, we've got our basically our first leg made and then we're just going to um, follow get the wire to follow around and we go to our next point and we make our next leg there and then we'll just continue with that till we've done all four of them okay once you've made um, your four legs um, you can cut the wire and then just tie the ends um, together at the back there and now what you need to do is get a piece of wire and fold it in two and these are just going to act as um, some more supporting legs for the main frame so if we just go over the first leg there and then spring the wire right across to the middle like so on a diagonal and bring it down to the opposite leg on the other side like so. Um, with this end here, um, just get one of the wires and then just push it out of the, out of the way because you only really need one because we're going to fold that over like so. Okay, um, I will go ahead and, and to do, I'll go ahead and finish these legs and you'll need to do it to, um, you'll need to do another piece of wire to do the other side as well. Okay, once you've wrapped um, the extra wire around the legs. The two um, spear pieces you have at the top there just basically wrap them around and under just to secure it and then cut them off and do that with both of them. Okay I've looped around and cut off the excess wire there so that's um, all ready to go. Now um, with a smaller wire I'm going to just basically weave it in and out just wrap around like so 
and just um, going to just keep wrapping all the way around all the way around the sides there just to sort of hold it into place and make it um, a little bit more tidier looking so um, I'll start that and I'll be right back so I've started wrapping the smaller wire around the base and I'm just going to continue all the way around so um, and what I've also done is just wrapped a little bit around a piece of card and just threading it through as I'm going because it'll stop it from tangling up because it does tangle really easily so I'm just going to continue um, finishing this off so I'll be back once it's finished and we'll go on to the next stage okay I've finished um, wrapping the wire around the base of the stool so that's all done and now we can get on to um, twisting the legs into place so basically just just twist them around it's all about there because these are going to act as your um, feet for the stool so they'll just go like that and just go around and do the other three okay I've gone ahead and twisted all the legs into place so and what I've done is just at the bottoms as I've just bent, bent them over just to make little feet so on to the next part um, what we're going to do now is make the um, seat for the seat you're going to need the cardboard your padding and the material right I've cut out my um, um, cardboard for the base and um, what I've actually done is cut two because I really want it to um, stand a little bit higher for the stool so that's all cool and what I'll do is I'll just glue those together with a glue stick And what I've also done is cut out the um, handy towels, and that'll be for the padding. And I'm going to just put those on there like that. And I've just made these a little bit smaller just so it gives us a sort of rounder effect when you put the material over it. And um, now we'll go ahead and cut out the material. Right, I've gone ahead and cut out my piece of material. And um, um, what I'm going to do is just go around and um, actually staple it in place. Okay, I've managed to um, staple the um, material over the seat, so that's what it looks like. And I'm just going to place it on there, and we're going to use a hot glue gun. And we're just going to glue it underneath so it stays in place. So guys, I have glued the seat in place, and now it's all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.